the topic of this video is just stability. Everything's about stability, and that's what we're, I'm trying to keep in mind while I'm doing this. But his energy is unmatched. I gotta have energy like that. I mean, he like, seriously, that's, uh, that type of energy in the gym, that's what turns boys into men right there, I'm telling you. What's up guys, welcome back to The Road to 800. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Over the past several weeks, I've been trialing, you know, dealing with uh, the negativity, dealing with the positivity. Um, as far as, I don't wanna be that guy that pats myself on the back for something that I didn't succeed in. So right now we're back to the drawing board. Chicago was a great experience over the past several weeks. Uh, I learned a lot about myself and about training, the things that I can do and the things that I can't do. And one being is, is adding in extra travel and just going, 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 and not being consistent and frequent um, in training. So that's something that we're training, we're changing on this block. Also, another thing that we're changing is we're gonna switch from bands to more chain work. The bands allowed the bar path to be too strict. We wasn't getting in as much core work and stability work as you would have whenever you train with chains. So these are just small things that we are slowly finding out. Another thing is uh, forearm strength and uh, wrist stability. Like uh, Matt Winning says, you're only as strong as your weakest link. He always says it all the time. So it just makes me think that I need to make sure that I'm uh, dotting my I's and crossing my T's, you know. I know a lot of you guys uh, say it wasn't a letdown, but for me it was a letdown and I'm coming back and I'm gonna hit it hard. The next time I hit the platform, I'm going to lift 800 pounds. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So again, tune in. We're gonna um, slowly start ramping things back up. Today we're gonna, I think, volume at 65, 70%, um, including chains. And then we're gonna get some accessory work in and just get back into the swing of things. It's a lot harder whenever you, you know, have a meet and then you're resting for a while whether a week or two, and then get back in the swing of things. Um, it's hard to get your body like uh, back acclimated to the full swing of things. So we're just slowly jumping in. We're not just jumping in doing 90 to 95%. You wanna make sure that whenever you um, allow your body to rest and heal up, you wanna slowly ease back in. We're, and, and that's a mistake that I did last time. Thought I could ramp it up and jump right back in, resulted in injury. So we're playing it smart, playing it safe, getting you guys some content. We have some new merch dropping. We got all three styles of snapback hats, camo, camo, and just black with silver. Uh, also, we have a limited edition t-shirt dropping. They will be available soon. Also, don't forget, we have programs available. We got the six week muscle building program. We have the eight and 12 week peaking program. And also we have more programs on the way. So for those of you who are lacking in your programming, go visit irregularstrength.com and get you some merch or programs today. Let's go. Getting this day started. You know you gotta get the day started with a scoop of Hyper Crush pre-workout. Get my hands a little nasty. Oh my God. <laughs> Hyper Crush pre-workout. Here we have strawberry kiwi. I like to um, dry scoop mine. Yeah, you, know, you already know. It'll definitely wake you up. Woo! So a, a couple questions that I've been asked are like, so how do you find it in yourself to keep going on? You know, to keep like pushing yourself, especially after you trained for something and you didn't get it. And I, I mean, I think everybody in position of power or people that are at the top of a sport or the game, whatever you want to call it, at some point has rethought like, is this worth it? You know what I mean? Is this worth putting your family through this? Putting yourself through this as far as your health? <laughs> I don't like walking around at 450 pounds. I just don't. Really, you're like a ticking time bomb. Though I work out a lot, um, I do cardio, it's still not safe to be walking around at 450 pounds. It's just not. Dealing with all this and putting your body through it, and of course this is how I make a living to provide for my family, 
you know, I, ca I can't lie. I've had some thoughts of like, you know, is this all worth? Like, again, putting myself through this, putting my family through this. Man, one of the biggest upsets that I've had lately was, you know, looking over after I missed that lift, looking over and seeing my kids in tears because they're sad because they've seen their, their dad fail at something. And that's, it's very rare where they see me miss, you know, or fail, you know, it's, that's, that's a rare thing. So they care so much about what I do because they see the grind every single day. They see when it's hard for me to get up out of bed, when I can barely move my arms. They see, you know, all the extra stuff that I have to do as far as going from uh, working out to getting kids to practice, at times making dinner, um, not only dinner, but whether we help kids with their homework or yard work, whatever, whatever it is, stuff around the house, they see all that stuff, everything behind the scenes that most people don't even have a glimpse of what it takes to get to this level and deal with family and everything else that's involved. So, um, but then you wake up, like I've woke up multiple mornings this week and I said, it's game time. The main reason why I still continue to do what I do is because man, for the first part of my life, it was so easy for me to give up that now it's like, I can't have any thoughts like I used to where when stuff gets, gets hard, then I just give up. I just can't do it. So um, this is what I'm built for. This is what I'm made for. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it with all I have until we succeed and get 800 pounds. Then we're gonna move on to the next, the next challenge, whatever that may be in life. We're doing some warm ups. I, I got these somewhat from Matt Winning. He calls them winning warm ups. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're hitting just about every single body part that involves in bench press. Um, some of them isol isolating the muscles just to get everything firing, making sure you're properly warmed up. Because again, we don't want to get injured. We want to make sure that we have longevity in the sport. I've been getting uh, questions whenever I do my warm-ups is, how is that beneficial? How is that helpful overall? Aren't you going to be weaker when it comes to your top sets? This is so little of volume that I don't believe it'll affect my main movement because I've been doing them for so long. I've built up to be able to do this. So the first 15 minutes of my workout, that's an extra 5,000 pounds added on to my overall workload. So ultimately it's just a little semi-workout, but I feel like I built my GPP up to be able to handle this and finish strong. So it's just about general physical uh, preparedness as far as uh, how, how you prepared your body, uh, have this, what people call a tank. And that's what I'm trying to get back to. There, there was one point where I was referred to as the tank, just solid, complete, and war ready. So I'm trying to get my mindset back to that, not only my mindset, but my body firing on all cylinders. At one point in time, it didn't matter whatever the date was, I was ready to go at any time. And that's what I need to get back to, is to be able to be ready to compete at any given time. You know, things are firing on all cylinders, and I'm thinking in my, in my mind, I mean, we know, as in me and Josh know, that we're ready to go. So right now, we're just building a base, another base for everything, slowly ramping things back up. We're looking at about six to seven weeks before we really get heavy. So again, we're going to be doing some uh, chain work and getting it in.